Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Luis, Mr. Edwin, welcome. Aquí estamos de nuevo. <laughs> We're here together again. <laughs> Yeah, well, welcome. It is a great happiness to see you here. Right to have you back. Tuvimos suerte, tuvimos suerte. Yes, you were very lucky because, sí. eh, because all the other ones are in another group. Another group. I was I was just checking on the names of the list and I said, like, where were all the other ones? I said. And they got into a different group, and I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, ahí estaba viendo que, que sí, hicieron como una mezcla de, de, de dos grupos. Um... Así que a ver, ¿quiénes son los suertudos que, que quedan aquí? <laughs> right now, yes, but they are going to connect in a moment. If not, we are going to work together. So, how was your vacation? Um, Bored. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have the chance to rest? Descansaron en la ocasión. Que me alegra. Bueno, no me tocó trabajar también esta semana. No sé si mañana, pero estos días no. Así que Gracias a Dios temprano aquí. La vacación fue completa, pues. Sí. Nice. <clears throat> well, so, hopefully, all the other ones are connecting in a moment. So, this is our first day. This is a very crazy day on which everybody's looking for the link and everything. And they are trying to connect and they don't find it. So, but hopefully, we're going to be done in a second. You see, we are getting more and more people now. Welcome, Mr. Janis, Ms. Janira. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi. Very good. I'm very happy to have you here. Hello, Mr. Dennis. Hello, Janira, how are you? Hello, good evening. Welcome. Bye. Good evening. Good evening. So I will really appreciate uh, to keep your cameras on so I can get to know the ones that I don't know. Thank you very much. I have a couple of you that I know. Okay. I have, hello, Wendy Beatriz. Hello. Carlita Cartagena, welcome. Hello. Hello, Mr. Ronald Ulises. I know you. <laughs> hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. It is a big, big, pleasure to have you all here and all the ones that are going to connect in a couple of minutes. Well, as um, you might know, right, my name is Evelyn Natalie Monterrosa de Flores, and I am going to be your teacher during these 20 days. We are going to be together during this uh, module, and we are going to be working on the different topics of this module, right? We are going to have 20 days of learning and we are going to take the best advantage of it. En estos 20 días vamos a sacarle el mayor provecho posible. So, I invite you to think in English, to investigate in English, to speak English, to practice your English, and to transform little by little your life to English. It is complicated and you are going to tell me, teacher, pero es que en El Salvador no se habla inglés. Yes, so you have to take advantage of this moment. Así que le vamos a sacar el mayor provecho a esta dos horitas que estamos juntos. Every day. So you can practice, you can listen, you can 
uh, speak, you can produce the language, okay? So that is going to be my main goal. Ese es mi objetivo principal con ustedes. Que produzcan el idioma y que saquemos lo mejor posible de estas horas que vamos a estar juntos, okay? <clears throat> so, did you all pass module number one? ¿Todos estuvieron aquí el módulo pasado? En principiante yes, uno. Done. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Very yes, good. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I am, I, I am sure about like four of you. De cuatro o cinco de ustedes, yo estoy segura que estuvieron aquí. <laughs> Because I had the pleasure to be with you. But uh, for all of you, for all the rest, well, we are going to start. How do you feel today? A ver, tell me, how do you feel? ¿Cómo se sienten este día? It can be in English or in Spanish, it's okay. I feel good. You feel good, okay. So, so. So, so. So, so. Uh -huh. What else? How do you feel? Very feel good. Free. Very good. Who's nervous? Let's say. Raise your hand. Nervous? Nadie? Nervioso? No? Anxious? Ansioso? No? Relax? Ya nos vamos a relajar, teacher. <laughs> excited? Emocionado? ¿Quién se siente emocionado? Raise your hand if you are excited about being here. Good, very good. Who feels motivated? I feel motivated to be here. Who feels happy to be here? I feel happy to be here. <laughs> Very good job. Okay, so I am going to do my best to uh, enjoy every single class with you. Remember, speak, practice, interrupt the teacher, right? It is very important, but practice your English, okay? Collaborate with your friends on the group, right? Collaborate with your friends, do your best on every single session, okay? So, Let's work. We're going to work a lot today. I have many information to give you, right? I have a lot of information to give you, but uh, we are going to be working on this one. Oh, this is not my presentation. It's this one. Here we go. So I kindly welcome you to the class, right? Welcome to my class. I am very, very excited to be with you, to work with you and to teach you, because that is the best thing that I can do, right? For sure, today is our first class, and we are going to be working in English for work, right? We are going to, uh, to train and work in many different things related to work. So, uh, some of you already know me, right? Algunos ya me conocen, algo otros es nuestra primera vez juntos. Nunca habíamos trabajado juntos. So I am going to introduce myself to all of you. So this is me, right? This is uh, my name, right? I am Evelyn Natalie Monterrosa. I am uh, licenciada en idioma inglés. And I have worked in many different things, right? I have 19 years of experience as a teacher, right? He hecho esto la mitad de mi vida. <laughs> I have been a teacher for half of my life. I have a licenciatura en idiomas. I have worked in many different things, many different diplomados about leadership, about e-learning, about uh, English production, didactics, pedagogy. I have done many things. I have worked on planning curriculum for sure, exactly like you are, así como ustedes. Soy un English expert in progress. Sigo mejorando cada día. I continue learning every day exactly like you. I am an INSA4 teacher, certified in all the different levels. I have worked in many places. He trabajado en diferentes lugares. I have worked in uh, Universidad Católica de Occidente for five years. I work at Instituto Americano de Idiomas in Santa Ana as well. I was an interpreter. I worked for Programa Superate for 10 years. Uh, I have two years in Real International, <clears throat> que es inglés corporativo, he estado aquí dos años. Eh, 
igual he sido directora académica por dos años en English Learning Center San Salvador y soy exalumna de la embajada de la beca Fulbright de excelencia docente. So, he recolectado toda esa experiencia para ponerla a su servicio. And for sure, I am going to be doing my best to work in everything that you need, okay? So please use all these things that I have learned in your benefit, okay? Practice a lot with me. Remember, we are going to work exactly as we did on the previous term, right? On the platform. The platform is your friend. Remember, we need to work on the platform. 80% of the homework, right? But all my students know that I don't like the 80%. A mí no me gusta el 80%. Es un número que no me gusta. No sé a ustedes. A mí me gusta el 100. <laughs> And so we are not going to work for an 80%. Yo no lo voy a empujar a trabajar a un 80%. Yo lo voy a empujar a trabajar al 100%. You are going to be working a lot, a lot, a lot with me. And as you know, the platform has two different parts. The platform has the midterm exams and the final exams. So we are going to be working the midterm exams at the beginning of June, right? We have the uh, midterm exams on June 9th, right? We are going to finish with that one. And on June 23rd, right? Para el 23 de junio, tenemos que haber completado toda la plataforma, okay? So keep it in mind. Siempre les digo, la plataforma es libre. Ustedes lo conocieron el, el módulo pasado. La plataforma es libre, un poco quisquillosa a veces. ¿Quién tuvo problemas con la plataforma el módulo pasado? A ver, levánteme la mano. Ajá, por ahí veo unas manitas ahí. Es un poco quisquillosa. Le gustan los puntos bien hechos, los espacios no le gustan que le queden, le gustan las mayúsculas, le gustan puntos. Es un poco delicada. Creo que la plataforma es mujer. <ríe> es bien detallista. Le gusta que todo esté bien hecho. So, yo creo que es una madre salvadoreña. Mm. Para el 23 de junio, tenemos que tenerla completa, así que vayámosla trabajando. No hay límite para trabajar en la plataforma. Ustedes pueden trabajarla todo lo que quieran. Yo siempre les digo, si mañana la quieren tener terminada, no problem. Good for you, because it's one less thing to worry about. So, please work on the platform as much as possible. Tanto como puedan. Si un día tienen una tarde libre, siéntense y trabajen. Trabajen todos los ejercicios. Right? Y vayan avanzando. If you need help on the WhatsApp group, teacher, can you help me with this? Teacher, I need help. Or can you help me with this? And any friend is going to help you, right? Ahí cualquiera de los compañeros va a salir al rescate o yo voy a salir al rescate para apoyarle. So please, Let's work on that. Let's keep it in mind, okay? Let's keep that in mind. We are going to uh, remember, please, the name that you show in the platform is uh, the one that you have on the DUI, okay? Pongan su nombre así como aparece en el DUI, okay? ¿Por qué? Porque cuando Insafor audita el video, entran a ver cada usuario, okay? Y su nombre tiene que estar exactamente como aparece en su DUI. Así que porfa, eh, si no lo tiene así, eh, lo puede actualizar para que les quede súper de acuerdo a los requerimientos. ¿Saben dónde cambiar el nombre de la plataforma? ¿Cómo se hace? A ver, ¿quién me explica? Ajá. In English. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ajá. Entramos donde dice participantes, se despliega la lista de participantes, a la par de su nombre salen tres puntitos, le da clic a los tres puntos y le da donde dice cambiar nombre. Y ahí pues lo actualiza. ¿Okay? Ahí le van a actualizar el nombre. ¿Ya lo encontraron? En la lista de participantes, a la par de su nombre. Están tres puntitos. Si está en computadora, pues así me sale. Si no, pues les puedo ir apoyando en el cambio. Quiero ver. Ya, Luis Parrilla Morales, muy bien. Creo que todos lo tienen completo. Solo Cristian Rodríguez me sale solo con un nombre. So please try to keep it like that. 
remember the camera should be on during the complete class. There is no option to have it off. Que teacher, mire que ando despeinado, que no, que, que, que calor. No, there is no option, right? You need to keep the camera on. And why? Why? You will say like, teacher, ¿por qué? Because in some cases, I am like, <clears throat> ese es un ejemplo, no creo que le pasa a usted. I am like, Edwin, Edwin, Edwin. And Edwin is not there, right? Y yo puedo estar, Edwin, Edwin. Y como tiene cámara apagada, Edwin anda donde la niña Marta comprando las pupusas y no me oye. So I say, Edwin, Edwin, it's your turn. Edwin, read, Edwin, this. And, and he's not there, right? So please, if I see you in the camera, I am sure that you are participating, that you are listening, that you are learning. But if I don't see you, I don't know. Ahí puede estar el Kaiser sentado enfrente de la computadora y usted por allá. No sé. Así que, please keep the camera on all the time. The only camera that I cannot see is uh, Catherine, but I think she asked for permission because she's working. Let me see. And she's very sick. Okay, so only for today I will give you the chance because she is very ill. So please keep the camera on during the complete class. The attendance, I am going to call it uh, around the middle of the class when uh, we have a, a one hour of class, for sure. You have to be all the two hours connected, right? And when you listen to your name on the attendance, you are going to say here or present, okay? How are you going to answer? Here or present, present. right? You are going to say present. here or present. And that is for the attendance. The permissions. I cannot give permission to miss the class. Yo no les puedo brindar permisos para faltar a clases. Eso lo tienen que tramitar directamente con inglés corporativo. Okay. Si es de suma, 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 urgencia, tienen que tramitarlo directamente con inglés corporativo. We cannot give permission, right? Ni los facilitadores ni los gestores podemos dar permiso. Así que, please, you have to be careful with that. Remember the different things on Zoom, the silence, if we are not using the microphone, the camera all the time, we can use the chat, right? Here we have the chat. And I am going to send a message to all of you so you can identify the chat. I'm going to send a face. I will say hello, okay? That's the chat in Zoom that we can use. The breakout rooms, cuando los mando a trabajar en grupos. And ask for help, pueden levantar la manita, okay? And aparte de reacciones, there is one space that says like, eh, levantar la mano, and you can do this, okay? If you need help. And I will say, okay, Edwin, what do you need? Luis, what do you need? And if you raise your hand. Or in some cases, Zoom uh, also recognizes when you do this. Right? A veces reconoce cuando hacemos esto. El mío hoy no lo quiere reconocer. <laughs> so when you put the, the hand on the camera, it raises the hand automatically. So <clears throat> those are some of the things that we need to remember. For sure, respect each other, right? That's the most important, respect each other. No vamos a reír a veces de algunos errores, de algunas cosas, de algunas pronunciaciones, de algún chiste, de algún trabalenguas que les traiga. Soy bueno en eso. Pero, good, good learning, right? It's not like, ah, you cannot do it. No, no vamos a hacer burla aquí. Burla y bullying, uh -huh. it's not allowed, right? The different calendar of activities that we are going to have. Remember, we have four weeks together in total. We're going to start today, that is May 30, right? And we're going to finish the first week on June 5th, okay? This is the first section, it's going to be complete. For week number two, that is from the 6th of June to the 12th of June, we have to complete the midterm and the final and the midterm exams in the section number two. For week number three, that is from June 13 to June 19, we are going to have sections three and four completed, okay? And for week number four, all the 
final exams should be completed. As I told you before, on the 23rd of June, para el 23 de junio, tienen que tener todo terminado. Así no hay ningún, ningún problema. Okay. Any question with this? ¿Les parece la división que les hice de sus semanas? ¿Está bien? Ustedes pueden avanzar súper más rápido. Don't worry. So, this is important for the platform. I know that you know our friend, the platform, right? But right now, we are all going to go and visit the platform and we are going to check on the manual, right? We have a manual to work on the classes. Tenemos un manual para las clases y lo vamos a ir a traer ahorita. Okay, let me just open here. Here I go. Okay. On the platform, people, on the platform, you are going to find on your course four different sections. Esas son las cuatro secciones que tienen ustedes en su plataforma. And you might say, okay, for unit number one, I have work-related events. And on these ones, these videos are going to be the classes. Okay, todas las clases que vayamos viendo van a estar apareciendo aquí en estos videitos. And every exercise that it's evaluated is with a pencil, right? Todos los que tienen lapicito tienen evaluado. Okay, so please, you have to complete these exercises on the platform. Here on the platform as well, you have a student's manual number two. Okay, so please, I need you to download this. Necesito que todos, si no es que ya lo hicieron, descarguen su manual y lo tengan en su computadora o en su teléfono. Okay, so please, I need you to do it. Si no lo han hecho, lo pueden hacer ahorita para que lo tengan porque lo vamos a ir ocupando, okay? So I need you to have your manual. If you use it on the computer, you can work on the manual. Si lo ponen en la computadora, pueden trabajar en él, pueden agregarle texto e irlo guardando. Y ahí lo pueden ir actualizando. So please, eh, for tomorrow, I want everybody to have the manual downloaded, okay? Para mañana, cuando les pregunte, todos tienen que tener su manual descargado. ¿Quiénes ya lo descargaron? Raise your hand. One, two. Only two. Yo, ahorita lo estoy descargando. Okay, three, four. Good, very good. So please download it. That's going to be very useful, very necessary for the classes. Okay. Remember to work on the platform as much as possible. Okay. It is really important for you to complete all the different things on the platform, okay? I know there is a lot of general things to know. Yo sé que hay muchas generalidades, pero me gusta que todo quede claro, así no nos perdemos en el curso. So, um, you know how to work on the platform? ¿Saben cómo trabajar en la plataforma? Así que, please, if you need any help, remember, you can ask, okay? You can ask me for help. There is no problem with that. Let's continue here. Um, important things that we need to do in the virtual class. Johnny's, can you help me with number one? Participate as, as much as you can during class. Enjoy that learning moment for yourself. Okay, enjoy that learning moment for yourself. Participate as much as possible. Number two, Wendy Beatriz, can you help me? See your face, dress nice, put comfortable, and keep your notebook and pens at hand. Okay, set your space. I always invite you to do that. Yo siempre les invito a que hagan esto. Busquen su espacio de clases. El lugar donde ustedes van a recibir clases todos los días que esté bien iluminado, que esté fuera del ruido, que esté fuera de las interrupciones. And get your notebook and your pen. ¿Dónde está su cuaderno? A ver, muéstralo. Show me your notebook. Show me your notebook. Your notebook. Very good. Pen, pencils. Ya no me quedó chance de irlo a traer, piche. <laughs> Agárrele uno al niño ahí. It's okay. Don't worry. No, 
Ahí lo tengo, pero no lo he ido a... Ok, ok. Your notebook is important. I need you to take notes. Aquí no es de que, ah, sí, la teacher lo dijo. Yeah, I remember. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, I need you to take notes. Because learning, it's a matter of discipline. If you are not disciplined, you are not going to learn. Si no son disciplinados, no van a aprender. You know, I say, ay, que la teacher lo dijo, pero no me acuerdo cuánto. No, pongan la fecha, pongan las notas, anoten cosas, vocabulario, frases, hagan oraciones. Do your thing, ¿ok? Es como volver a la escuela. Un poco más estricto. Pero... <risa> Dress nice. No les pido que estén de traje, corbata y toda la cosa. Siéntense cómodos. But not naked, ¿ok? <risa> Nadie ahí desnuda. No, no, por favor. <risa> Please, dress nice, comfortable, fresh, right? It's okay. I know how hot it is. Sé el calor que hace. So, it's no problem, right? But set your space, right? Dress nice and stuff. If you want to be there in short and chanclas, it's okay, right? Yeah, a veces nos vamos a parar en cámara, así que, <laughs> please, <laughs> be careful. So please eh, dress comfortable and set your space. It's important. Carla Patricia, can you help me with number three? Take notes and ask questions at, uh, at the moment of the class. If the teacher is busy, send them on the chat. Okay. <clears throat> If the teacher is busy, Send them on the chat. Si estoy hablando, explicando un tema y algo, usted tiene una duda, envíemela al chat. Okay, and I will answer. Take notes and ask questions. People, do you have any question about vocabulary on this, on this section? Teacher, what's the meaning of that? Teacher, what is the meaning of that word? Any question? Or everything is clear. Don't be afraid of asking questions. Si no, ya a la una de la mañana va a decir, me hubiera preguntado a la teacher. <laughs> and it is not possible anymore until the next day. And the next day, you don't remember. So ask questions. Number four, Luis Parrilla, can you help me? Stay away from pets and family that might distract you or interrupt you. Okay, stay away from pets and family that might distract you or interrupt you. In some cases, we say like, aquí me voy a quedar en la sala. And there are many people in the living room. And all of them are talking and at the time, mira el noticiero, no sé qué, blah, 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 blah. No, right? Look for a space on which you are quiet and nice. There's no better way of learning. Dennis Gerardo, can you help me with number five? Keep away any debit side or television that might distract you. Keep away any device or television that might distract you. No, teacher, si yo puedo estar viendo Código 21 y la puedo estar viendo usted. No, 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 you cannot. You will be like, oh. and the teacher, ta, 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 ta. No, 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 no. Aprovechenme, no saben cuándo me van a cambiar por una novela turca. <laughs> so please pay attention, pay attention and turn off the cell phone, right? Ya, yeah, yo sé que sus fans lo necesitan, pero no. Leave it there for a moment. Later, at nine, you can say, escríbanme a las nueve, dígale. From seven to nine, no. I belong to English Corporativo. Le pertenezco a English Corporativo. So, please, don't, uh, don't waste your time on that and pay attention. Any question about this? ¿Estamos de acuerdo con estos puntos que les mencioné aquí? Yes. Do you understand all of them? Yes. Okay, I'm glad it's all. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. You say yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Later on, I will say, like, I told you. I told you. Remember, I will say. Okay, so 
let's take the best advantage of this and we're going to call the attendance, right? I am going to call the attendance and I'm going to check on the different uh, students that I have in my class, okay? Remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present. I am going to go here and let me see. Okay. Mayor. Okay. I wanted to make it small, but it's okay. Let's go with the first one that I have. Cristian Eduardo Rodriguez. Present. Thank you very much. Denis Gerardo Vasquez. Presente. Diego Jose Alvarado. Presente, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Edwin Ernesto Sanchez. Present. Edwin Mauricio Comayagua. Edwin Mauricio Comayagua. Teacher, él escribió en el grupo ahí que no iba a poder estar en la clase. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Hey, me llega eso, que estén pendientes de todo. I like that one. Johnny, Vladimir, Doño. Presente, Jorge Antonio Andasol. Presente. Hey, what a nice last name. Primera vez que tengo un alumno con ese apellido. Karen Lisset Blanco. Presente. Thank you. Carla Patricia Morales. Presente. Catherine Rosibel Mejía. Presente, teacher. Luis Humberto Parrilla. Presente. Norma Yamilet Beltrán. Presente. Sorry. Hey, Ronda Ulises Alvarado. Presente. Perdón ahí por mi web. Hey. Sorry. La Kiara odia al señor del pan. Víctor Manuel Cruz. Presente. Walter Enrique Flores. Presente. Wendy Beatriz Mengíbar. Presente. En Yanira Isabel Fuentes. Presente. Thank you very much. Okay, so. We only have one person missing. Thank you very much for uh, your answers. Walter Enrique Flores says no. What happened? <clears throat> ¿Qué pasó, Waltercito? No te mencioné. Sí, se me mencionó. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, tenía un no ahí en el chat. Let's continue then. Well, my dear class, after all this protocol of talking, let's start. I have here my agreements. Some of you know them already, and some of you are going to know them now. I am going to take advantage of the ones who know the agreements. Vamos a pedirle a los que ya los conocen que nos colaboren. Edwin Ernesto, can you help me with the first two? Number one and number two. Practice your English as much as possible. Practice your English as much as possible. Number two. Ask for help when needed. Ask for help when needed. Norma Jamilet. Number three. Keep your cameras on all the time. Keep your cameras on all the time. Ronald Ulises, number four and five. Keep a microphone off if we are not using them. Keep microphones off if we are not using it. Number five. I think all your session on time. Very good job. Let's continue with Jorge Antonio. Number six. Participate as much as possible. Participate as much as possible, right? Participate as much as possible. Number seven, Carla Patricia. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Very good. Wendy, number eight. Collaborate, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. And number nine, it's going to be for uh, Victor Manuel. Practice your speaking with the audience every day. Very good job. Practice your speaking with the audios every day. Audios teacher? Yes. 
we use the WhatsApp group to send audios. I ask you questions and you practice there. It is difficult at the beginning, right? <clears throat> Algunos lo graban siete, ocho, nueve, quince veces y lo borran. But then the audio works and then they send it correct, okay? So we are going to have this activity on the audios in the platform. So important classroom language that we are going to use and I need you to use it, right? Use the classroom language, ask questions. What is the first question that I have there? What is the first question that I have there? What's the meaning? What's the meaning? Teacher, the meaning? what's the meaning, right? If you have any question, tell me. Teacher, what's the meaning of that? ¿Qué significa eso? Teacher, how do you say? How do you say puerta? How do you say zapato? How do you say teléfono? How do you say? If you have any question, don't use Spanish. It's like, ay, teacher, es que como es que se dice, teacher? No, how do you say, teacher? How do you say, uh, how do you say, let's see. How, how do you say botella in English? Uh-huh. How do you say botella in English? Bottle. Bottle. Right? Bottle. Bottle, bottle. How do you say tasa in English? Uh, cup. 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 How do you say telephone in English? Telephone. Telephone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Very good. How do you say lapicero in English? Pencil. Pen. How, how, pen. pen. Very good. Pen. pen. Pencil is lapis. Lapis. How do you say, how do you say circulo in English? Circle. Circle, circle. right? Circle. How do you say galleta in English? Cookie. Cookie, right? Cookie. How do you say, let me see, I have many objects here. How do you say buo in English? Owl. Owl, right? Owl. Very good. How do you say in English? Box. Box, right? So that's the question. How do you say? Ask me a question. Hágame una pregunta a mí. Teacher, how do you say? Algo que, que no se sepan, que no se Algo que quieran saber. Teacher, how do you say? How do you say cielo falso in English? How do you say cartera? How do you say cartera? Cartera, okay. Cartera, de hombre o de mujer? The man. Ajá, that is wallet. Wallet. Wallet, billetera, right? En cartera de mujer es purse. Purse. Hey, teacher, how do you say? How do you say? Confortable. Comfortable, right? Cómodo. Comfortable. Right? Comfortable. Good question. Teacher, how do you say? Vamos, saquen ahí el vocabulario. How do you say servilleta? Servilleta, napkin. Napkin. Good question. Uh -huh. Another one. Teacher, how do you say? No tienen dudas ustedes. Qué lindos. I, I like these students that know many things. That's so nice. Uh -huh. How do you say berenjena? How do you say berenjena in English? Huh? Uh, Google. <laughs> John, no. Berenjena? No. Berenjena? No. Eggplant. Eggplant. Okay, Johnny's, what was your question? How do you say what? What do you say, peine? Peine, comb, comb. Ah. How question. do you say ventilador? Fan, fan. <clears throat> okay, so that's the use of the question. How do you say? Yeah. Yes? How do you say grandma? Grandma, grass, grass, 
Grass. Thank you. Teacher, can you help me? That's a question. Teacher, can you help me? Si necesitan ayuda, si necesitan algo. Teacher, can you help me? Okay. Teacher, how do you write that? Si ustedes me dijeron, teacher, how do you say servilleta in English? And I say, napkin. How do you write that? Ah, it's napkin. Okay. There you go. That's the writing form. Teacher, how do you say jocote in English? Mumbin. Right? There you go. Teacher, how do you say berenjena? Eggplant. Okay. And there you go. How do you write? And I'm going to give you the right definition. Okay? Teacher, how do you spell that? ¿Cómo lo deletrea, teacher? ¿Cómo se deletrea eso? ¿Cómo se deletrea eso, teacher? And I'm going to give you the letters. Teacher, how do you say gato in English? Cat. How do you spell that? C-A-T. Cat. Okay. How do you spell? ¿Cómo lo deletreas? Teacher, can you repeat that? C-A-T. Okay. ¿Puedes repetirme eso? Teacher, I want to participate. <clears throat> es el que quiero ir todos los días. Okay. Teacher, I want to participate. I want to participate. I want to participate. Everybody. Okay. We will work together. That is something that I'm going to tell you and repeat after me, right? Repeat after me. Remember, it is very important to practice. Please and thank you, okay? Please teachers, thank you teachers, thank you friends, thank you classmates, okay? Cualquiera que practique con usted en grupo, en, en pareja, en lo que sea, le está regalando lo más valioso que tenemos, tiempo. Say please and thank you, okay? Be nice. Thank you to the gecko that is sending me kisses. Okay, ya ven? Gracias al gecko que nos envía besos a todos. The topics that we are going to practice. Take notes. Aquí sí, empieza la toma de notas, please. What are the topics that we are going to cover? Esos son nuestros temas de el módulo. Okay, son nuestros temas de módulo. We are going to study simple present. This is the topic that we studied in the previous module. Este ya lo vimos en el módulo pasado. Simple present was the top of the previous module, okay? <clears throat> what is the next topic? What is the next topic? Frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs. Do you have any idea of what a frequency adverb is? What is a frequency adverb? Un ejemplo de un adverbio de frecuencia. Always. What else? Sometimes. Sometimes. Another example. Ne never. Usually, never. usually, never. Ever. Ever. Okay. We are going to practice the commands. What are the commands? The different forms that we use to give orders. Okay. Take that, put on the phone, take your clothes, pick up that. Those are commands, ordinance, right? Have to and need to. We're going to practice also have to and need to. The main idea of the module, present continuous, right? We're going to work on present continuous. What is present continuous? ING forms. I am working, I am running, I am studying, I am cooking, okay? Actions that are taking place at the moment. Present continuous. We are going to use present continuous versus present simple. We are going to practice the WH questions in present continuous. And we are going to practice also the present continuous for temporary actions or temporary situations, okay? <clears throat> the two final topics, would like to, and could, and can, that are for abilities in the past and in the present, okay? So those are the grammar topics that we are going to have in the module. And you might say, ¿Y por qué me ponen los temas, teachers, si no hemos empezado a ver ninguno? For you to investigate, okay? The topics are here for you to investigate them. Para que usted vaya y se ponga curioso y diga, hey, ¿qué son los frequency adverbs? Hey, ¿qué es el present continuous? Hey, ¿qué es would like to? 
¿Cómo se usa could? ¿Cómo se usa can? Okay. For you to be curious and for you to investigate, okay? Did you take notes? ¿Ya los anotaron? ¿Ya les sacaron un screenshot? Yes. Yes. No sé dónde les salgo, pero... There you go. Simple present, frequency adverbs, comments, have to and need to, present continuous, present yes. continuous versus simple present, present continuous WH questions, present continuous for temporary situations, would like to, could, could and yeah. can. Those are the topics that we are going to cover, okay? Teacher, yo no sabía. No, it's right here, okay? Those are the topics that we are going to cover on this module. Simple present. Examples of simple present. Give me one example sentence with simple present. Un ejemplo de oración con presente simple. I watch TV. I watch TV. Perfect. Ting, ting, ting. I watch TV. Nah, negative. How do you make it negative? I don't watch I TV. Don't watch I TV. don't watch TV. I don't watch TV. How do you make it question? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you watch TV? Do you watch TV? Do you watch TV? Good. ¿Cómo lo hacemos tercera persona? Afirmativo. Tercera persona afirmativo. She watches TV. She watches TV. Ok. Tercera persona negativo. She doesn't. 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 She doesn't watch. Watch TV. TV. She doesn't watch TV. How do you make it? Third person question. They do watch TV. Third person. Tercera persona question. She watches TV. She doesn't watch TV. They. He does. 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 does she watch does. TV? Very good. Does, does she watch TV? TV? Very good. How do you make it a uh, second person plural? Segunda persona plural. They do watch TV. <clears throat> Aha, they do watch TV. They do watch. Así va. ¿Qué watch tenemos aquí? Tenemos doble verbo. No podemos poner they do watch. Con segunda persona plural, el verbo va normal. They watch TV. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Negative. ¿Cómo hacemos they esta negativa? They, they, don't, they, they don't watch TV. Watch TV. They don't watch, watch TV. Then the period, right? And the question. Are they... They... they do they watch, do they watch, watch TV? TV? Do they watch TV? And there you have it. first person, third person, second person plural. Okay, there you have the example. Right here, you have the example the first person, the third person, and the plural forms. That is simple present. We can say, I watch TV every day, and we have a longer sentence. I watch TV every day with my sister. Tenemos una frase aún más completa, right? I watch TV every day with my sister. And that's it, right? I don't watch TV because I don't have time. Then you have a complete sentence. Ya ven, de una oración chiquita, pueden hacer cosas más grandes, ir creando más oraciones, ir haciendo más cosas, right? Do you watch TV with your sister? That's another question, right? Do you watch TV with your sister? ¿Cómo podríamos agregarle para hacer esta oración más grande? She watches TV. In the night. Uh, in the night? ¿Cuál es la preposición que ocupamos con night? 
Evelyn. At, at night. At night. At night. At night. She watches TV at night. She doesn't watch TV at night. Okay. Does she watch TV at night? Okay, only one thing. And we change the and we change the meaning, we change the sentence, right? <coughs> Here we have the different examples. As you can see, it is not complicated to practice your English. Nos complicamos para hacer esta práctica? ¿Creen que, ¿Creen que es complicado hacer este tipo de prácticas con ustedes? No? No. No, right? I think no. Okay. Esto lo pueden hacer ustedes en un papelito. Ahí en un tiempo libre, en el almuerzo. Pónganse hacer oraciones. I know it's very short and limited, but it's not impossible. Here you have the example. First person, second person, and the third person here. <clears throat> I am going to send you to working groups. Lo pueden mandar a trabajar en grupos. Y me van a traer seis ejemplos exactamente como estos. Diferente persona, diferente verbo, diferente oración. Okay? Simple present. With I, with he or she, or with we and they. Okay? You can use different verbs. You can use different information. But simple present. Okay? Exactly like my example. Hicimos este ejemplo juntos. El que viene lo van a hacer ustedes con su grupo. Okay? We're going to have groups of three. Small groups. We're going to have a small groups. So please, let's work on this right now. Questions? Preguntas de qué vamos a hacer? Five, four, three, two, three. Tres oraciones de, de, de cada. Eh. You are going to write exactly like my example. Okay. Sentences with I. I in simple present. I run, I watch, I swim, I dance, whatever you want to do. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Then he or she, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. They or we, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Okay. Okay. Clear? But not clear as horchata, right? Clear. Clear. Clear as water. <laughs> Go to your rooms. Go to your rooms with your friends and practice on the examples. Go ahead. Check on the examples and practice with your friends. There you go. Accept my invitation, please. Accept my invitation. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Teacher. Hola, Catherine. Yes. Yo estoy mal, yo estoy mal de salud, por eso. Oh, okay, no okay, okay. Ver, que estoy. Cuesta con fiebre estoy. No, no, no. Así don't worry. Con, con prevención por mi familia estoy así. I know, I know. Don't worry, don't worry, Catherine. Don't worry. Okay. Bueno, le digo, me uní en un grupo y créeme yeah, que no. Sorry, no, sorry. No, 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 no. No, don't worry. Puedes trabajar tú. Estoy... Sí, en no, don't worry. estoy. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. You can stay here. Don't worry. Te puedes quedar aquí, Catherine, no te preocupes si sí, te mandé automáticamente al grupo, pero no te preocupes. Once... ¿Cuál es un sample? Ajá, hello. Hello. Al rescate, ¿qué pasó? Teacher, ¿vamos a hacer las tres oraciones cada uno o...? No, it's in group. 
En todo el grupo. Entre los tres vamos a hacer las tres oraciones. Yes. You are going to ah. work in groups. Cuando regresen van a reportar solo un tipo de oraciones. ¿Ok? Así como las que estábamos haciendo. Cuando regresemos, todos van a reportar eh, tres, tres y tres. ¿Ok? Pero entre todos van a hacer la primera. Por ejemplo, si dicen, ok, con I, ¿qué hacemos? I, ¿qué? I, I drink water. I drink water. Okay? I drink water in the morning. Ok, and you have one. Entonces, después esa que ya tienen, la hacen negativa. Después la hacen pregunta. Te agarran una con he. He cooks dinner for his family every Saturday. And then you make it negative and interrogative. Ok. That's what you are going to do. Work together. Tengan un secretario. No sé quién va a tomar notas. O los tres tomen notas. Pues for you to report. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, equality here. Ok. Work on that. Work on that. I will come back. Ok. Eh, ¿Quién va a hacer la pregunta? Okay. Todos tienen que tener la misma info, ¿ok? Sí, sí. Ok, good, very good. Continue, continue. ¿Quién va a hacer la negativa? Pero si es, es de... Uh -huh. I don't... <risa> Dios lo hace ir en segunda. Está bien. Sí, yeah. yeah, because I didn't do it. English, it was just idea. like that, right? It was just like that. Good. Extraña. Ya, me too. Uh -huh. Yo creo que Luego, muchos, muchos se tardaron en hacer la inscripción. Mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Ah, ya, yeah. aquí tienes que ser quick. Rápido. Yes. Uh -huh. <ríe> Cry with them. Mañana les cuentan. ¿Saben con quién estamos? Dios? Mi cabal les va a dar envidia. Yo puedo asegurar que les van a dar envidia. ¿Con quién no, why? ¿Américo ya sabía? ¿Américo? Le dije yo con la misma teacher que damos. No puede ser, me dijo con ella. Yeah. Also, Elizabeth sent me a message. She's like, teacher, where are you? And I said, here, with the group. Where are you, I said, huh? So, continue working, my dear students. I will come back. Okay, la pregunta sería, do you study English every day? Hello? Hola. Any question? Mm, creo que ahorita no ninguna. Ah, sí, sí tengo sí. una. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me. Este... Yo tengo la consulta. ¿Son tres cada uno? O... No, as a group. You are going to work as a group. You are going to work together. So you need to have three sentences in general, right? Van a ser las primeras tres y los tres tienen que tener las mismas. Eh, afirmativo, negativo y pregunta. And then the other three for he or she. Eh, afirmativo, negativo y pregunta. The three of you. Okay. So it is the same for, for the group. Okay, it's a group work. Ah, en grupo. Yes, it's in groups. Uno puede hacer el primera persona, el otro la segunda persona, así. Exactly like that. You can do it like that. Or you can do it together. O lo hacen juntos, okay? Ahí puede ah, ser. okay. It's up to you, sí. right? It's up to you. The idea is that all the group has the answers, okay? okay That's the idea. You. Okay, good, good, good. Uy, no entiendo nada. O... Oh, okay, let's do one sentence together. Aquí estaba todavía, no se preocupen. Sí, 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 que me vaciló. Come on. Let's work. No. Okay. Hagamos, okay. Hagamos la junta, okay. Hagamos la junta. Okay. Let's choose the first subject. I. Dime de verb. ¿Qué verbo le pondría? A ver, Víctor Manuel, ¿qué verbo le pondría? A ver. Yo habría puesto la oración de I go to work every day. Ajá, so there you have it. I go to work every day. I go to work every day. Ya ve, y me dice que no entiende. Vea, ya ves. Negative. ¿Cómo le hacemos negativa? Hagamos esa misma en negativo. Yo le puse. Ajá. 
Saturday. It's okay. I don't go to work on Saturday. Very good. How do you make it question? ¿Cómo le hacemos pregunta? Ah, uh, because. No, how do you make it question? Ah, uh, pregunta, pregunta. Uh. Do you? ¿Cuál es el verbo que tenemos? Go. Do you go, go to work on Saturday? Very good. Do you go to work on Saturday? Question mark. Hacemos esto mismo con he. Solo que ahí cambiamos el verbo. What is the verb? Give me another verb. El verbo sería tomando. Yo estoy usando tomando. We ah. drink coffee. Okay. He drinks. He drinks. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, porque es. Coffee. He drinks coffee. Every morning. Every morning. He drinks coffee every morning. Y ahí la hacen negativa, y la hacen pregunta, y así se van. Okay. Yo tengo una consulta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Para hacer un, para hacer we en pregunta, antes del we es don. No. Antes do. de we es, okay. In this case, you have to be very careful with this one, okay? Aquí se tienen que basar en el auxiliar que ocupen. He drinks coffee every morning. Y entonces la negativa sería, he doesn't drink ok cuál um, es el auxiliar que estamos ocupando el auxiliar que estamos ocupando yeah. es das entonces eso es lo que ven la pregunta das he porque le hacemos la inversión right das he y el verbo va normal drink coffee ok for we ok we it's a normal form of the verb so we say we don't cook Okay. Entonces, ¿cuál auxiliar um, ocuparían para la pregunta? Do, do, do. Do, we. we. Okay. Porque aquí este NT es la negativa. Aquí podemos decir we do not. Y siempre el auxiliar que tenemos es este. Ajá. Uh -huh. We do not cook. Do we cook? And we have the question. Okay. Uh, okay. That's so, a form okay. that we use. Okay. Create your sentences. I will come back. Ya vuelvo. Sigan creando su oración. Okay. Continue, continue. Hoy sí, Víctor. Sí. <laughs> good. Hoy sí. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's the first class, right? Hasta mucho los estoy retando en la primera clase. It's okay. Let's, let's go. Yeah. Go, go, go. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? So-so. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are here. Did you finish the sentences? Um, yes, yes. Terminaron? Can you give me one yes. example? Me dan un ejemplo? Um, de la primera, I work in the factory. I work in the factory, very good, negative. Negative sería, I don't work in the factory. I don't work in the factory. Question? Eh, que lo diga mi compañera aquí, Norma. <laughs> Normita. <laughs> eh, do you work in the factory? Do you work in the factory? Very good. With he or she? Eh, nosotros dijimos con he. Okay. Mm -hmm. He works in the factory at the morning. He works in the factory in the morning. In, in the, the morning. morning. Ah, okay. Very good. In the morning. Negative, Normita. He doesn't work in the factory in the morning. He doesn't work in the factory in the morning, right? He, he doesn't work, uh, yeah, in the factory in the morning. That's okay. And the question? The question, does he work in the factory in the morning? Very good job. Okay, fantastic. So, we are going to go back to the main room. Nos vamos a regresar al salón, ¿ok? Ok. Ok.
quail come back. Welcome back, my dear students. Very nice. Thank you very much for working with your friends. And we are going to listen to what you did on the groups. Vamos a hacer report, okay? Siempre que vayamos a los grupos, vamos a tener una sección para report. On the report, for sure, we give what we did on the groups, okay? Así no vamos a peinar el gato al grupo, así no que venimos y trabajamos y reportamos, okay? <laughs> ¿Qué es peinar el gato? Es like, pues sí, vos, qué calor, ¿verdad? Qué calor, mira, qué autisidad. <laughs> no, <laughs> we need to work, we need to work in the groups. Everybody's going to give me one example. Puede ser afirmativo, negativa, pregunta, he, she. <laughs> Puede ser afirmativo, negativo, pregunta, he, she, or it. Todos, take one example. Escojan el ejemplo que me van a dar. Do you have it? Okay. Todos tienen cámara. Okay. So the last person, el primer voluntario, el primer voluntario. Yeah, I have Christian. Wow. I have good, very good. Christian Rodriguez, Denis Gerardo. I have, uh, okay. Christian, you are my first volunteer. Okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I I learn learn English. Uh huh. Uh, do, do I learn English? I don't learn English because it's very difficult. <laughs> and you're telling me in English, okay? <laughs> that, is, that is one of the of these things of life that you say like, huh? How is this possible, right? No, I don't speak English because it's very difficult, you know. I can't <laughs> in English. <laughs> so very good, Christian. I learn English. Dennis Gerardo, vamos. I drink water every morning. I don't drink water every morning. Question. Do you drink water in the morning? Very good. Do you drink water every morning? Very good job. The next volunteer. Who's next? ¿Quién era nuestro siguiente voluntario? Ah, Dennis, vamos. He eats watermelon. He oh, doesn't. He doesn't eat watermelon. Does he eat watermelon? Does he eat watermelon? Very good. Watermelon is very delicious. Thank you very much, Janis. Good questions, good sentences. Another volunteer, Mr. Jorge, vamos. I like drink coffee in the morning. <clears throat> I don't drink coffee in the morning. Do you drink coffee in the morning? Do you drink coffee in the morning? Good, okay. Something important to remember. Importante recordar antes de que se nos pase eh, cualquier otra cosa. I like to. I want to. I love to. Entonces, ¿cuál fue tu primera oración? I like drink. I like drink. So, ¿qué nos faltó? Yes, I like to drink coffee exactly like that i like to drink coffee right i like to drink coffee continue who's the next volunteer diego jose vamos uh, we go to in the factory in the morning we work in the factory in the morning uh-huh no we go to ah we go to the factory very good continue yeah. Uh, we don't go to in the factory in the morning. Uh, quest, uh, negative. 
question. Uh, do we go to in the factory in the morning? Uh, do we question? go? Do we go to? Do we go to the factory in the morning? Good okay. job. Very good, Diego. Who's next? A ver, Janira, vamos. They walk in the morning. They don't walk in the morning. Do they walk in the morning? Okay. Walk with it. At the end, walk. 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 Very good. Walk. Walter Enrique, vamos. Let's do it. Okay. We drink coffee every night. We don't drink coffee every night. Do we drink coffee every night? Fantastic sentence. Very good job. Excellent. Karen Blanco, vamos. She drives to her work every morning. She does not drive to her work every morning. Does she drive to her work every morning? Excellent job. Does she drive? Very good. Excellent sentences. Another volunteer. Thank you, Edwin. Hey, democratic. I study to English every day. I don't study to English every day. Do you study? to English every day. A study, you don't need to, okay? I study English. English. Okay, I ah, study okay. English. Después de like, si va tú. Después ah, de want, okay. si va tú. Pero a study, no. I study no. English. Very good, very good job. Luis Parrilla, go ahead. Okay. They work in the park every day. They don't work in the park. Do they work in the park? Do they work in the park? Very good. Carla Patricia, thank you very much. I saw it in your eyes. Ya dijeron los compañeros las tres, pero estaba haciendo otra, no. pero me agarró en cura. It's okay, go, go ahead. Yo he empezado a hacer la otra, pero me falta. I work every day, I don't work every day, y la otra sería... Do you? Do you, do, do you, do, no, sería do I work every day. Sería. Do I work every day? Very good job. Thank you, Carlita. Mm -hmm. Wendy Beatriz, vamos. She cooks pupusa on the weekend. She doesn't cook pupusa on the weekend. Does cook pupusa at the weekend. Okay. Okay, aquí vamos a agarrar ese ejemplo. Does cook Pupusa on the weekend. Okay, hey. Does cook pupusa on the weekend. Okay, ¿qué nos falta? Él o ella, she o Exactly, nos falta un he or she. So you say, does, okay, I'm going to write it here. Does he para el girl power, right? Does he cook pupusas? Because you don't cook only one, right? O quien se come solo una pupusa en este mundo. Does he cook pupusas on the weekend? Does he cook pupusas on the weekend? Very good. So remember the subject. Thank you, Wendy. Correct, please. <clears throat> Victor Manuel, vamos. I go to work every day. I don't go to work on Saturday. Do you go to work on Saturday? Very good. Saturday, Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Saturday. Norma, vamos. I work in the factory. I don't work in the factory. Do you work? in the factory. Do you work in the factory? Very good job. Well, so I think I have almost all of you done. Let me see. I am missing only, uh, no, I, I call all of you. ¿Quién, me, ¿Quién se me queda? A ver, levanta la mano. ¿Quién no ha participado? All of you did it, right? Yes? Ronald. Ronald. Uh -huh. Ronald Ulises, vamos. <laughs> You see, hombre. 
Qué malo es parrilla. Exactly, here in my heart. Uh -huh. Vamos. Yeah, I hate you. No, come on. Todo, todo okay. el mes pasado ahí, teacher, yo voy a participar siempre. Uh -huh. <laughs> Vamos. Yeah. She cooked meat for lunch. She doesn't cook meat for lunch. Does she cook meat for lunch? Very good job. Very good job, Mr. Ronald Ulises. Okay, so, paper, please. Agarren su papel, su cuaderno, su lapicero, please. Get your notebook. Get your notebook. The last person, the last person to draw a cat on the paper is going to be the volunteer. El voluntario va a ser el último que dibuje un gato. Go, 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 and show it on camera. Draw a cat. Oh my God, this doesn't work. Show me a cat on the camera. The last one is going to be the volunteer. I have my cat. Ta -da. <laughs> the last one is going to be the volunteer. The last one is going to be the volunteer. El último, la, el último le va a tocar. El último que muestra un gato en cámara. Go, 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 go. Aquí ya tengo varios salvados. Okay, okay, okay. Done, 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 done. Okay, here's my cat. Look, <laughs> looks very scared. Very good. Beautiful cats. Very good. Dennis, where's your cat? Okay, la pelea va entre Janira, Janice, Christian y Dennis. Vamos a ver quién, quién se queda. Ay, ganó, ganó. Dennis, you are the last one. <laughs> Dennis was the last one. Ay, come on, Dennis. Ay, hasta mancha le había hecho y de corazón. Ay, come on. Okay, Dennis. Dennis, a Dennis le tocó porque fue el último. Okay, Dennis, you are going to be our victim. Ah, volunteer, sorry. <laughs> We're going to dance La Macarena. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey. Okay, I, I love I love your attitude. That's so fantastic, right? Ah, La Macarena, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. But no, you are not going, to, you are not going to dance La Macarena. But <clears throat> you are going to give me a sentence with the following form. You're going to use he. You are going to use swim and give me an affirmative sentence. He swing at the vacation. Seven. <laughs> Correct the sentence. Correct it. Ayúdenle. ¿Cómo la regla? He walk. Swim. He, he swing on vacation. He swing. He, he swing in pool on vacation. Ah, vacation. he swim. He swim. Lleva ese. Ajá. Help him. He swim vacation. He swim vacation. Mm -mm. He he swing at vacation. He swing in the pool in I don't listen to the ending. I don't listen to the ending. He. He, he swimming in vacation. He swimming in vacation. Oh, no, no, no. He's swimming in vacation. No. He swims. Swim. Vacation. On vacation. He swims. Okay, why did I take this example? The endings are important. Okay, the endings are very important. Las terminaciones son muy importantes, right? You cannot say he swim on vacation, right? He swims on vacation. She reads the book. She drinks coffee, okay? You have to be very careful with that. Let's create another one. Let's create another one. Let's see. This is going to be she. And we are going to use. Okay. How do you make this sentence? And this is going to be for. Quiero quien fue el antepenúltimo. Yanira. Yo no fui. Yo ya lo había mostrado. <laughs> volunteer, volunteer. <laughs> How how would you make it? ¿Cómo lo hacemos? 
como las tablas. <risa> Así sí. la sé. Ajá. Sí. Sí. Tate. Ajá. Organice. Y es. Organize. Organice. The ending, the ending. Recuerden la terminación, tiene que estar bien marcada la pronunciación. Ay, me gusta. Organice. Organice. Organize. Organize. Es que es un verbo que le quita la. Se le quita la E y se le agrega I S, pero no sé cómo se. No, no, no. She organizes. Organizes. Solo la E se le falta. Solo le agregas la S. La e se le falta. She organizes sí. her house. Her house. She organizes exactly like that. She organizes her house. So <clears throat> we're going to be practicing many of these ones during these days. Vamos a estar practicando un montón de estas más durante la semana. So we are going to be working on that part. I think we need help on pronunciation. Lo que me puedo, puedo notar es que nos falta la pronunciación de terceras personas, right? We need to work on that a little bit. Okay, so we are going to work on a short conversation for us to practice a little bit of pronunciation. Right here. What do you do every morning? Karencita, tell me. Karen, ¿tienes alguna pregunta? Hola, Karen. No. <laughs> okay. What do you do every morning? That's a good question. What do you do every morning, people? What do you do every morning? ¿Qué hacen cada mañana? I go up, I take a shower. I get up, I take a shower. What else? I brush my teeth. My teeth. I brush my teeth. What else? Take a breakfast. I take breakfast. I go to work. I work, right? And I work and I work and I work. That's what hey. we do every morning. Uh -huh. I take a bus. I take a bus. I take a bus, right? I take a bus. Here we have a conversation, right? <clears throat> In this case, we are going to be working with Sofia and Mario. Sofia says, what do you do every morning? What do you do every morning? Intonation, right? What do you do every morning? Tenemos que poner intonación a la pregunta para esperar una respuesta. Because you say like, what do you do every morning? That's not a question, right? What do you do every morning? And what is the answer? I check my email. I check my email and I call clients. 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 For the or rest, the the rest of the morning. What, what about, about you? you? What about you? What about you? Te regreso la pregunta. What about you? What about you? I have to read a weekly report. And, and, attend a meeting. and attend a meeting. I also have to, have to organize, organize meetings, meetings every, every two Mondays. Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do. Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Okay, so I am going to be Sofia and you are Mario, okay? All of you are Mario, todos ustedes son Mario, okay? And, and not Mario Pitches, okay, but Mario. All of you are Mario, okay? And I am Sofia. <clears throat> Ready? Yes? Ready. No? Ready. Okay. Ready. Be Sofia. Okay. Be Sofia. What do you do every morning, people? I check my email. I check my email. No, 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 no. No. 
at the same time, people, at the same time, like, I check my email hotline. No, 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 right? <laughs> Amen, I will say at the end. I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? Okay. Aquí no pasó nada. Action. What do you do every morning? I check my I email check my and, I call, and I call clients for the rest, for the of, rest the of the morning. What about you? What about you? Ah, José Antonio no estaba hablando, Yanira tampoco, es Denis no tampoco. Yes, I can listen to you. Ah, I have had classes of 75 students, people. He tenido grupos de clases con 75 alumnos. This is a piece of cake. What about you? One, two, and three. What do you do every morning? I check in my time for the rest of the morning. What about you? What about you? Right? I check my email. Vamos conmigo. I check my email. I check my email. And I call clients. And I call clients. For the rest of the morning. For the rest of the morning. What about you? What about you? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? What about you? You see? What about you? I can listen to you. I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, organize 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 I have to read a weekly report. Vamos. I have to read a weekly report. I have to, I have have to read a weekly report. Read, read, report and attend read. 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 I have to read. Read? Read in color. Read. I have to read a weekly report. I have to read a weekly report. And attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings. I also have to organize meetings. Every two Mondays. Every Monday. 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 Okay. Si se fijan, hasta ahí hay un punto. Entonces, hasta ahí tendríamos que leer. So you say, I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. Okay. Go ahead. Hasta ahí. Todo eso es una frase. I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize uh, meetings every two Mondays. Vamos. I have to read. I have to read a weekly report. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Okay, pregúntamelo con intriga, como que de veras quisieran saber. How often do you check your email? Teacher, how often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Every five minutes. Every five minutes. It's horrible. It's horrible. Because I, I, I mean, yeah. So no, the, so, yeah, <laughs> I have to. I have to check my email every five minutes. It's so frustrating. How often do you check WhatsApp? Never. <laughs> Yes. All day. Always. All day. Every minute. Always. All the time. All the time. How often do you check Facebook? Once a week. In my free time. In my free time. How often do you check TikTok? Never. Never. I don't like. You don't like TikTok. Don't How often now. do you check Instagram? I don't have. Never. 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 All the time. Only WhatsApp. Only on Facebook. Or really? Oh. No. Sometimes. Sometimes. Aha. Uh -huh. oh my God. How often do you watch Netflix? 
I don't have Netflix. I don't know. I don't know what it is. What is that? What what that is? is that? You say I don't know what that is. You say how often do you check YouTube? Every day. Oh Ah yes. Uh, ah, YouTube. Yeah, I day. I watch YouTube. I like. Okay. YouTube. How often? I, how often do you listen to music? Every day. Every day. I go to work. I listen to music. In the morning, in the afternoon. When you go to work. When you go to work. How often, how often do you check uh, Snapchat? Snapchat. Snapchat. I don't have installing. Oh, you, have, you don't have it. Okay, good. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me see. How often do you watch movies? In general. Yeah. On the weekend. On, on the weekend. Yes. On the weekend. Okay, on the weekend. Saturday. On Saturdays. How often do you eat pupusas? For breakfast, okay. Every morning. Como más pupusas que revisar WhatsApp. <laughs> yes. How often? Oh, how often do you? How often do you drink Coca Cola? I don't like. Ever. Ever. I, I don't it's like. Better, it's better water. It's better I don't water. like. I know it's better water. I don't like Coca Cola. I like water. Okay, good. Please keep your bottle of water near your, your class, okay? Eso sí, eso les permite. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uy, no le peguen al niño. <laughs> Let's see. How often do you make phone calls? ¿Qué tan seguido hacen llamadas telefónicas? How often do you make phone calls? WhatsApp pasos nada más. Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. No more. O sea que ustedes son de los que ven el teléfono hasta que se corta la llamada. <risa> <risa> Más o menos. Uh, and then, Depende de quién sea. Ajá. Uh, crash, you say. Hi, hi, hello. <risa> so, yeah. And then when the call is over, you say like on WhatsApp, ¿qué querés? Yes. Come on. Easy, easily. No, I mean answer the phone call. I like to make phone calls. I don't know why. I like it. Okay, creo que es un recurso desperdiciado. Mm. On WhatsApp, this is like, vamos, ¿a dónde? ¿Para qué? On, ¿En qué? ¿Y cómo así? No, I mean on the phone call, at, at once, right? A Pusunga mañana. You say, ah, ya, ya, ya. Saben que es a Pusunga, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a place in Santa Ana. It's a river. Okay, so how often, right? That's the meaning of that. Que tan seguido, right? Do you check it every day? Do you check WhatsApp every day? Yes, you yes. have to. Ahora sí van a tener que revisar WhatsApp every day. Yes. Si yo llegué a su vida, va a tener que revisar WhatsApp every day. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> yeah. All the time. All the time, yeah. No soy una teacher tóxica, no me crea. Entonces, ¿por qué no me contesta? No, but, but you need, but you need to check it, ¿ok? Le voy a enviar información, ejercicios y tareas. Así que, please, check WhatsApp. Ay, el teacher, no. Please don't block me, ¿ok? Love me, don't block me. No me vayan a bloquear, por favor. Ok, so... Um, do you check it every day now? Yes. Great. It is very important, right? It is very important. So, sentences in simple present on the conversation. I check my email. I check my email, right? Another one? I call, I call clients. Call clients. What else? I have to read a uh, weekly. I have to report? read a weekly report. Another one. I also have to organize a meeting. Organize meetings. Organize meetings. Attend meetings, right? Um, I check it once a week and there you have it. 
How would you make this one in third person? ¿Cómo haríamos ese en tercera persona? With she. She checks. She, she checks. 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 She checks. She checks. She checks. I, 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 Attends, Attends. meetings. Right. She organizes meetings. Right. She yeah. checks she it checks. once a week. Okay. Okay, let's move on here. This is a simple present form. Okay. Activities that you do every single day. Check my email, type a letter, write reports, attend meetings, call clients, re send reports, visit clients, and organize meetings. On your daily activities, what is something that you do every day? En su trabajo, ¿qué hacen cada día? Give me one activity. <laughs> I drink coffee, no, okay. <laughs> That's a part. Go to sleep. Uh, Dennis, what is it? I, I clean my place home, my place work. I clean my workplace. I clean my workplace. Uh huh. What else? ¿Qué más hacemos durante el día? I repair machines. I repair machines, right? I clean, I repair. What else? Organize club. Organize. What else? I drink coffee. <laughs> okay, I drink coffee. Watch yeah. tablet. You watch the tablet? It's with my workplace. Oh, you sweep the workplace? Lo va a remover. Uh -huh. What else? Yes. Cut. Another one? Sub close. You, okay. You so right. close, uh huh. What else? I write details on paper, right? I, Those... I, I take a tool. Okay, I take tools. Talk. I talk. <laughs> talk with the neighbor, right? Yo hablo con mi vecino, I hear I talk with my neighbor. So those are different activities that you do every single day. And if I talk about you, I will say, ah, he cleans, he repairs, he organizes, he drinks yeah. coffee, he watches, uh, right, the processes, he sweeps the floor, he cuts pieces, right, he sues, he writes, he takes the tools and he talks to people. Right, we can use it in third person as well. In this one, it says, I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. ¿Cómo completaríamos esta segunda oración? Our secretary, she. Then she sends them via email. What does she do? Our secretary, podemos ocupar uno de los que tenemos aquí arriba. Our secretary. Organized. Writes reports. Writes reports, right? She writes reports. Right. She writes reports and <clears throat> then she sends them via email. I, twice a day, I use my laptop computer. I check my email. I check my email, very good. I check my email twice a day. I use my laptop computer. What about, I have to every morning at eight. I have a, a nice meeting. I have, I have to, I have to nice read a meeting. report. <clears throat> I have a read okay. report. Okay, ponemos las dos. I have to, I have to attend a meeting every morning at eight or I have to read reports. Those are things that you can do. I have to read reports every morning at eight. Cel, uh, Celia. 
The meetings take place in the auditorium. Organize meeting. Celia, organize meeting. Organize or organizes? Organize. Organize. Organizes the meeting. Nice. <clears throat> organizes meetings, right? Celia organizes meetings and the meetings take place in the auditorium, right? Very good. Let me just move this one so we can see it, right? Here. And here, <clears throat> I need you to give me one example of your own. I will say, uh, Ronald. Mm. Ronald, give me one thing that Ronald does. I, Ronald. Organize. Organizes what? Clothes. Clothes. Finish the sentence in the morning. Okay. Ronald organizes clothes in the morning. <clears throat> Create one sentence about you. Hagan una oración acerca de ustedes. Así como ese ejemplo. Aquí hice yo el ejemplo de Ronald. Ronald organizes clothes in the morning. Hagan uno con uno de los verbos que ustedes me dieron, usándose ustedes mismos como tercera persona. I can say, for my example, Natalie receives the students in the morning. I would say this one. Natalie receives the students every morning, okay? Porque eso es lo que hago yo en la mañana. Natalie receives the students in the morning. What do you do? ¿Qué hace Janice? ¿Qué hace Edwin? ¿Qué hace Wendy? ¿Qué hace Janira? Uh -huh. Shakira. Shakira, Shakira, no, Janira, Janira. Dennis, ¿qué hace Dennis in the morning? Janis writes report formats every day. Okay, Janis writes reports every day. Good sentence. Another example. What is another example? What do you do regularly at the work day? Norma, ¿qué hace Norma? Tell me. Norma drinks coffee in the morning. Okay. <clears throat> drinks. Drinks. Porque drives. Norma, and sí. <laughs> uh -huh. I drive coffee. Teacher. Okay. Norma <laughs> drinks coffee. Dennis. ¿Qué hace Dennis? Um, clean, clean my area to work. Okay. Dennis cleans his area. To work. Cleans the area of work. Cleans his area. Okay. What does Jorge do? Jorge, what do you do? Jorge watch TV in the night. No, in the morning. ¿Qué haces en el trabajo? In the morning. Go watch TV. <laughs> Qué chivo. Yo quiero trabajar ahí. Ajá. <clears throat> uh -huh. What do you do in your job? Uh, ¿Una actividad que hagas en tu trabajo? Uh, ¿Ah? Uh, take my long... Take my lunch. <laughs> okay. So in that case, say Jorge takes... His lunch in the morning. Okay, I am ready in a minute. It's okay. I take my lunch in the morning. Let's see. Carla Patricia, what do you do in the morning? Carla takes a shower every day. Carla takes a shower every day. Very good. She takes a shower every day. Ronald, what do you do? <laughs> Ronald drink coffee. Ronald drinks coffee. That's important, right? That's the top one. Edwin, what do you do? In the, in the morning, uh, I check my social media. 
I check, okay, in that case, Edwin checks social media in the morning. Diego Jose. Um, Diego talks to his boss in the morning. Diego talks to his boss in the morning. Walter. Walter prepara his uh, prepare machines for new styles. Okay, Walter repairs machines. Very good. Let's see. Uh, Karen Blanco, what do you do? Karencita? Karen. Uh, in the morning? Uh-huh. Uh, Karen brush her teeth every morning. Karen brushes her teeth every morning. And Janina? Your microphone, sweetie, it's off. Sorry, Isabel clean in, Isabel clean the machine in the morning. Isabel cleans the machines in the morning. Luis Parrilla? Luis sews clothes every day. Luis sews clothes every day. So those are examples of things that you do every day. Wendy Beatriz, what do you do every day? Um, Wendy cleans the table in the morning. Wendy cleans the table in the morning. So those are things that you do once you arrive to your workplace. So that is very important to keep it in mind, okay? So that is basically the simple present, people. That is basically the simple present and the things that you do with it, right? I know I challenge you a little bit further, right? Yo sé que me lo llevé un poquito más allá de toda la... la lo que tenían que pensar en el primer día. Pero dice, like, yeah, that's a challenge, right? A mí me gusta retarlos para que piensen un montón y se reten ustedes mismos a que digan, no, ya no puedo, teacher. Yes, you can do it, right? And I will show you that you can do it, right? And <clears throat> I have here different things. How do you go to work? How do you go to work every day? Take the bus. So you say, take I, the bus. I, I take the I bus. Take the bus. Take the bus. I walk. I drive. I, I take the train. Sun I take the bus. Sometimes I drive a car. Take the airplane. I walk. I take my airplane, teacher. <laughs> right? I take the bus. I sometimes drive. Right? Who rides a motorcycle? Who rides a motorcycle? I don't. I don't. Okay. I you don't do it. No, nobody. I don't have fear. Don't. I, have fear. No. <laughs> I don't I don't have fear or oh you have you are afraid. Afraid. Ah, yes. afraid de sentir miedo. It's like afraid. no, I am afraid of motorcycles. It's like no, I mean I am afraid of motorcycles. It's like afraid. no. I am fear? No, yo soy miedo. No, that's not correct. I, I am afraid. afraid. I am afraid of. From all these different transportations, you have drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway. We don't have here in El Salvador, right? Solo el de los sandwiches. Take the train, <laughs> ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, and take a taxi or an Uber, right? What is the difference between drive and ride? Drive is manejar, ride is montar. Exactly like that. So that's why you have ride a bike because you ride on the bike right to go and ride a motorcycle because you ride on the motorcycle no podemos decir ride a bus because you're not gonna like, yeah on top of the bus right no <laughs> you cannot ride a taxi right you ride you don't ride a taxi you take a taxi you drive a car you take the bus and it's not literally that you take the bus, right? You take the bus because you go inside. From all these transportations, which one do you think is the best and which one is the worst? 
The best is drive. The best is drive. And the worst? Oh, uh, motorcycle. <laughs> the motorcycle, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Edwin, for your opinion. What about the rest? What is the best for you and what is the worst? Well. So you say, for me, ¿cómo expresamos nuestra opinión? Decimos, for me, the best is this one and the worst is this one. Expresen su opinión. For, me, your... the, for me, the best is ride a bike. And the worst? The worst. La peor. The best. <laughs> the best. I agree with you. Jonis, which one is the worst for you? The la peor uh, for me, for me, the worst is uh, take a taxi. To so take a taxi because it's expensive, right? It's very expensive. Janira, what is the best for you and what is the worst? Um, for me, the best, ride a motorcycle and the... The worst, the worst talk, walk, sorry. <laughs> walk, well, depending, here in El Salvador depends, right? Because, well, I live in San Salvador, right? And the traffic here is horrible, horrible. In some cases, I go faster walking. Yo llego más rápido caminando. In some times, <laughs> because the traffic is horrible. So, in some cases, I said, nah, I would better work. Would you like to take a train? Le gustaría tomar un tren? Would you like to take a train? Yes. yes. What about a subway? The subway? Yes. That it sounds good. Ride a more ride a bike. Who can ride a bike? A ver, ¿quién es de mi team? De mi team? Pueden y no pueden. Who can ride a bike? ¿Quién sí puede andar en bicicleta? Raise your hand if you can do it. Okay. Raise your hand if you cannot. ¿Quién no puede andar en bici? <laughs> thank you, Norma. <laughs> no, thank you, Carla. Very good. Karen, tú tampoco. No. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Si en un apocalipsis zombie solo hay bicicleta. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, teacher Nat. I cannot. Okay, so <clears throat> that's pretty awesome, right? That was pretty good. Thank you very much for exchanging your ideas with me. And we are going to finish with these last five minutes of the day, practicing a little bit of vocabulary because we're going to use it tomorrow. Vocabulary related to family. Give me examples. What are the names of the family members that you remember? Vamos a hacer esta review de vocabulary antes de irnos. Family members that you remember. Uh -huh. My mother name Mary. Mother. Okay, mother. Father. Father. Brother. 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 Sister. Oh, sister. <laughs> Grandfather, grandfather, grandmother, uncle, good. What? Son, uncle. What do you say, cuñada? Siblings. Siblings, right? Sister-in-law. Mother-in-law. Mother-in-law, wife. Mother-in-law. Okay, the wife, the mother-in-law. What else? Girlfriend. The girlfriend, that's important. The girlfriend and the boyfriend, right? The wife, the husband, uncle. uncle. Good. Any other example that you remember? Good. It was good, right? It was very good that you mentioned a couple of examples. And I have here a couple of them for us to finish with the vocabulary of the day. And I am going to go here. I have the first one that is father or dad, right? It's the first one, father or dad. The next one we have 
a mom or mother, right? That it's the same. You have mom or mother. You have son, que es hijo, right? Daughter, hija. Brother, hermano. Sister, hermana. Grandfather, that it's abuelo. You can also say grandpa. Grandmother, grandma or granny. Grandson, que es nieto. Granddaughter, nieta. Uncle, tío. Aunt, what is the meaning of aunt? Tía. Tía, Tía right? Cousin, what is the meaning of cousin? Primo. 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 In El Salvador, everybody's cousin, right? Aquel que vaya, ah, mi primo. Mi primo. Yeah, te vi en metro con mi primo. Cousin. The next one, you have nephew. What is the meaning of nephew? Sobrino. Sobrino. Niece. What is the meaning of niece? It's not nice. It's niece. Sobrina. Sobrina. What about the next one? Wife. Esposa. Husband. Esposo. Okay, de esto solo es uno. No van a tener más de uno. Wife, only one. Husband, only one. Okay. Father-in-law. Suegro. Parents. Padre. Padre. Pas, right? Parents. It's not parents. It's parents. Siblings. Yeah. Hermanos. <clears throat> Mother-in-law. Suegra. Suegra. Parents-in-law. Suegros. Okay. Son-in-law. Cuñado. 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 Cuñado, right? The song in low. In that case, it's not cuñado. Mi hijo. Song in low, it's my yerno. Okay, Fine. song in low is tu hijo político, tu yerno. And your daughter in law? Nuera. La nuera. <clears throat> nuera. No era la que yo quería, but anyway. Esa no era. <laughs> Brother in law is. Cuñado, right? Brother-in-law. And sister-in-law? Cuñada. Cuñada. Eh, Stepmother? Madrastra. Madrastra, right? Stepfather? Padrastra. Girlfriend? No, yeah. Only one, okay? Only one for the boys. Boyfriend? No, no, no. Only one or two or three. No, only one. <laughs> Children, okay, niños, <clears throat> and great grandfather, bisabuelo, bisabuelo, right? Bisabuelo. So there you go. These ones are all the ones that you can use instead of he and she. Okay. Más allá de he and she, puede ocupar todos estos sujetos. You can say my mother, my sister, my aunt, my niece, my nephew. And you can talk about all of them. Todos ellos pueden reemplazar he or she. So we have a lot of different subjects that we can use instead of that one. Okay, so let's recap in the class. Let's recap before we leave. Important things about the class. Puntos importantes que se lleven de la clase. A ver. New vocabulary. New vocabulary. What else? Uh -huh. The questions. Very good. New teacher. Uh -huh. The new teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. What else do you take from the class? Thank you for the claps. Thank you, Dennis. Very good for the claps. Excellent. Uh -huh. Algo que aprendieron, algo nuevo, una palabra, algo que se lleven de este día. Uh -huh. <laughs> Muchas. Ajá. Muchas A lot of new words. The class rules, the agreements, the platform, the manual, right? Many things that you need to recover, okay? Cada día le voy a preguntar al final, ¿qué se llevan de la clase? Así que váyanlo anotando. Lo que le llame la atención para mencionarlo al final, okay? Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I'm going to see you tomorrow, same time, for another class. Bye-bye. See, 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night.